The connection between research and teaching has always been very strong, especially within the university environment. But we owe the consideration developed in the 60s to Brunner, who summarized in his The Act of Discovery, the formalization of this connection, the so-called inquiry-based learning. Learning based on investigation, on research, Dewey, in the 70s, had already criticized behaviorist approaches within the teaching of science, focused on the teaching of single notions, generally fragmentary, in favor of the importance of using methodologies that helped to develop scientific thinking. Inquiry-based learning objective is precisely this to develop knowledge, abilities and skills in a context as similar as possible to scientific research. How can we describe this approach based on inquiry-based learning from an operational point of view? In this type of context, as you have started to see at the beginning of this video, the teacher offers a team either suggesting and formulating questions or helping students formulate their own questions. Once the question is formulated, students organize small groups, search for useful information that can help answer the question. In the case of the video you previously watched, you saw that questions were about an intriguing and unusual topic, that is kimchi. It is a Korean food that can be the starting point to introduce a number of topics in the microbiological area. For example, about the role of the microbiome in our organism and in particular in our digestive system. In this case, students are encouraged to look for information that can help them answer questions formulated by themselves or their teacher. Once this research phase is completed, the students must try to formulate an answer to the original question. However, as in the scientific environment, the work leading to formulating an answer is never complete if it is not discussed confronting with others. Therefore, the teacher will encourage small groups to merge with others to compare their hypothetical answer to the questions. The discussion will then lead to a selection of answers to the original one. This is carried out by the students themselves, who will select the most appropriate answers and they will then be called to share them with the class. The teacher will guide a reflection and an assessment of the real effectiveness of the answers to the original query. This process can also be quite brief managed within a short lecture or it can be done in a series of subsequent meetings when the various phases are articulated in a more elaborated way. It can involve lab activities, area exploration and can take place outside of the classroom to search for information useful to the creation of the answer. The important and characterizing element of this approach is that the educator guides just like in a scientific research process and provides all the tools and methods necessary to answer the query. Therefore, the investigation of content processes happens functionally to the answer to a scientific query. This is why Brunner, but also Dewey, underlined that this type of, of approach in a scientific environment is particularly useful as it develops methods and scientific processes together naturally with the acquisition of knowledge, skills and abilities. Mm -hmm.